Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Hero video in Grand Arena 3v3 and a brand new season. As you can see we are starting this season in Kyber 2 around the 3547 mark but before we jump into this Grand Arena I just want to say uh, obviously we, the last day or two we have had Jabba the Hutt as a new Galactic Legend announced and Chris Anton as a new Marquee as well as Profundity uh, as a new capital ship to rival Executor. Um, I don't know how all of you feel about these new additions, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, even with Datacron still being a thing, as much as I hate them. Uh, but it should be good, obviously, to get these characters in because I've been wanting them for a long time. So let me know down in the comments whether you're looking forward to either Jabba or Profundity and uh, whether you'll be going or working towards any of them. Uh, obviously, this should be a good addition to the game for all our rosters, hopefully. But let's just jump straight into this fight so my first round uh, of this week is against pyromaniac and they are from the guild chaos rising ca as you can see they are very data quite heavy uh from a dame the jmk preview but from the front walls you are going to see a lot of data crons every team has a data cron um obviously lv and ray in the preview at the top in the north and Gatton Maul in the south. And they have started to attack actually. Uh, they're on 37 points. They did really struggle against my Ray with the Datacron as well. I have set all my Datacrons that I could on the defense. Uh, so five attempts against my Ray, which is the uh, 10 meter buffs and stacking offense with a bit of extra health steal. And obviously, um, she's offense modded with the offense shared from R2, so she hits like a truck. Um, so that's obviously very good. And then they dropped a the battle on EP Starkiller. So I'm not sure whether they're going to continue tacking or not. Uh, that is the only teams they have touched at the moment. But we are obviously going to be starting in the south as always. Uh, so we'll quickly go over that and what my plan is. So for Dash, I'm going to be using Triumphrit. Gas, I'm going to be mirroring. Uh, but with Arc and Echo, unfortunately, because I don't have Fives and Rex with me. So that could prove a bit of a problem. Uh, I and I'm going to be attempting Wampa. I'm a bit too unsure about this one as well because of the Datacron. Um, but we'll go around to that in a minute. And then Finn, I'm going to be using Jedi Revan. And Maul, I was going to be using Veer's Troopers. So I'll quickly run over the Datacrons on each team uh, just so you can see what I'm going to be coming up against. I don't have many Datacrons for offense. I have three. Uh, one's for... Uh, Jenna Master Kenobi, just in case we need it in the back or against another GL in the North Zone. And then another one is a, a level 9 one for Mon Mothma, but I don't have a Relic 7, so that would just be a useful uh, another Rebel team or just another team that needs that extra boost of uh, stats from that Datacron. But anyway, Dash has a level 3 Datacron from the first set, which is whenever they inflict debuffs, they have a a chance to reduce their cooldowns which is obviously very helpful for dash on his aoe because he inflicts a lot of debuffs um so that could bring his aoe off cooldown pretty quickly and obviously he'll be dealing more damage with that extra 10 percent crit damage uh, so that might become a bit of a problem but we'll obviously see when we get into the fight and then the gas team has a level 5 set 2 datacron which means that they all start with 25 percent 10 meter this is why it's pretty much impossible for me to um use anything else other than a mirror really here i don't have a cls or hana chewy or anything on offense and i don't really want to be using c this early against this team obviously they do have extra special grit damage and potency so it might become a bit of a problem but in gas mirrors you kind of want to start second anyway uh, so it kind of helps that they actually get that boost to 10 meter at the beginning because hopefully that should mean we can get a win in there if fingers crossed that is <laughs> obviously you never know with those cons now and then with Aiden, I was planning on Wampering, um, but this Datacron obviously gives uh, uh, their more extra potency. And then they have 24% potency from the actual stats and health steal. And then the Aiden that I'm facing is, I think, about 120%, yeah, 126% potency. So they'll be getting an extra 30 on top of that. Um, and I don't know whether I keep stacking or not. I can't remember the data crumb. But anyway, that's 150 starting. And then my Wampa only has 180% tenacity. So that's a really uh, quite a risky whether he gets stunned or not. So obviously you can just have to play that um, by ear. But that's probably the only counter I really have 
for that team at the moment. And then Finn, I was going to use Genera Revan, like I already mentioned. I <laughs> don't know why I said that. Uh, but the data card on there is another 25% Tommy to start, so just super fast. The Finn's 361, so there's just no way I'm outspeeding that with like just a regular team unless I was able to start. I would have used Iden here, Iden Troopers, but my Iden is only gear 10. I just don't want to get smashed out of the gate uh, and hoping that I do land the stun on Finn. So obviously that's why I plan to use Genite Revan here because hoping that even if they start and smash me about a little bit, the Savior and Jolie being there might uh, hopefully help me get me good banners at least. That's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> um, and then finally, the Maul team just has a level one uh, set one data crime with an extra 6% crit damage. So that's obviously not too scary because the team isn't modded very well, so we should be able to smash through that. But anyway, let's just jump straight into these battles. Okay, so they're going to start, obviously, because the turn meter boost. Uh, actually, no, it was cooldowns, wasn't it? I'm going to keep forgetting all this stuff because there's just so much to remember now. Right, let's isolate L3. Get some pain on the board. Get Vandal to start countering me. Get that protection up. And maybe throw him out of here. No, not enough damage. Right, let's cover some protection on Scion. Now we can increase everyone's cooldowns. Let's kill Vandal if we can. Nope. Kill him here, good. Basic dash. Help by hatred. Obviously, Triumph is not good banners. Like I've mentioned plenty of times before, just because of the fact they can't uh, recover any protection. But I'm going to annihilate L3 here. Now I can isolate dash. Recover some protection with Scion. Increase his cooldowns. And then I just, just throw the sabers at him. And that should kill him for. 64. Not a bad start. Obviously just the three full health there, no protection banners. It's no idea how it's gonna go. Obviously them having so much turn meters to start. Hopefully we should be okay. That daze is a bit annoying. That's the extra potency that they get kick kicking in there. So he's going to sit down first. Okay, well that's a bit annoying. I actually wanted to... Uh... I'm actually going to go for the sacrifice here. If I can. Okay, or not. I would have gone for the sacrifice there just because... Would have uh, struggled here, but we'll be fine hopefully. Let's do a bomb. There's five's gone at least. Okay, it's where we're going to struggle. Oh my guys, stand up, stand up. Yes. <laughs> oh. Going to be awful banners, but I didn't know what else to throw at this other than obviously using a GL, which I didn't really want to do. Let's get rid of Rex. Okay, well, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> What a stupid fight. There we go. Four. What is that? 50 palace. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, next. <laughs> Please don't get stunned. <laughs> we might be okay still. Don't get stunned. Oh, thank you. Okay, that works out quite well actually they got uh double tanks if that wasn't double tanks that could have been pretty nasty uh, so we're gonna slam here let's see get our bonus protection going all right then raw see ahsoka has just got that uh is in fulcrum ahsoka just got the omicron for territory wars it's kind of like um like wampers obviously but for a different game mode so i'm quite tempted to give her that omicron so I could try that out. It looks quite fun against like debuff heavy teams. Uh, no, 
now, of course. Let's get healing immunity on you guys. Stop you from healing. Fifty-eight. Very good. Okay, so they're going to start. This is what I thought would happen. Uh, right, let's mark Finn now. Go around that taunt. Now we will do a jump. Then we'll reduce his turn meter, hopefully. Maybe stun. Brilliant. Let's call in Yoda again to assist and kill. Okay. <laughs> right, now kill Finn. There we go. Alright, spread the buffs. Let's go after Poe now. We can go around that taunt with Revan. Right, do a jump. Maybe kill Poe. Nope. Basic. Uh, spread some buffs. Just basic Poe here, that should kill him. Alright, steal that retribution. Use his time to maybe stun. Nope, unfortunately, no stun. Let's call in Revan to assist. Now I'll go for a mark. A stun, which is good. Alright, basic with Yoda. Then we'll call in. Yoda is not going to get full protection, but also we could call him into assist. Should give him his full protection banners, which it has. So that's 55 there. And not bad, because they get a crazy amount of turn to begin with. Okay, Viz versus Maul. So we're obviously going to pass the inevitable failure of the Dark Trooper. Then we're going to go mass assist onto Armourer. Okay, that did not as much damage as I would have hoped it would have done. Let's go for a punch here. And... Right, let's go for a let's go for a daze actually, because they're both light size, so they should get dazed. Actually, no, that's a buff as well, isn't it? With the uh, I was talking about. Here's where it goes a bit wrong. Yep, as I thought. Okay, yeah, we're going to bring in Darth Revan for a cleanup. Uh, well, not cleanup, a restart, I guess. Because uh, troops just didn't work there. I probably should have uh, boosted my turn meter with Dark Trooper to get uh, Piet to take his turn earlier. And then that would have hopefully got me through um, Bow, which would have got me the turn meter to keep the train going, but that just didn't work out how I would have liked. Obviously with the taunt switching on time, it's quite annoying, but it is what it is. Let's go for some shots. Uh, let's go for a ability block actually, if we can. Good. All right, hit armor. Get the death mark on more, which we will now. I'll go for a big hit. And then get him. Well, oh, I, maybe I should have started out with that, but never mind. We live and we learn. Now on to the back zone and see what we can do next. Okay, so the back wall is now opened up. And as you can see, we do have a Newt and GG team there from the preview. So I'll just quickly run over the plan for the south. And then we'll go over the north and probably start there because that is a tougher zone to get rid of. And obviously that will get us to ships as well. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we do have a boss team to face with a Zam Omicron with a level 3 Datacron. Luckily, that's the only Datacron on this wall. And then we have a GG, a Newt, a Darth Revan, and a Geo. Oh, and then we have two, another Omicron with Darth Talon. Uh, but obviously, that is more synergy than with um, Treya. 
but and this is where we're going to be using a GL on that team at least. But anyway, my plan at starting at the top was to use Hux with first order type pilot Omicron against the boss team at the top just to try it out. At this level 3 Datacron isn't too much of a big threat. A bit of extra damage and some health still. There might be a bit of a problem if we can't get that initial kill, but we should be able to hopefully do that. Um, hopefully, <laughs> in quotations. <laughs> um, obviously, they don't get the bonuses from the level 3, which is good. Uh, and then the GG, I was going to be using Bad Batch. Newt, I was going to be using more Mothma. Obviously, Darth Revan, I'll be using C Solo there, hopefully. And then the Geo team, I'm going to be using Padme. That is the plan for the south, but we'll probably come to this later. And then for this north team, we do have three GLs to beat. All teams have got Datacrons, uh, as you can see. Uh, so my plan for this war was to use SLKR Night Sisters versus this Basila uh, JML team. You could actually use um, SLKR Solo against that team, but there is a reason I'm not going to be running Solo, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. And as you can probably guess, it is the Datacron that has forced me to use some other characters with SLKR. And then the Hux, I'm going to hopefully Malak solo that. Um, no idea how that's going to go, but we shall see. Um, obviously it does show on swagger.gg that you can use uh, Malak solo here, but I have no idea whether that's against Omicron or a, just a normal first order type palette. So we're just going to find out. Uh, I see whether it is an Omicron one or not, <laughs> which it probably will be, no, my luck. Um, and then for the Daka, we're going to be using Vader Watt with a pre-taunt, probably Shore Trooper or someone like that. Uh, hopefully get the weapon tech on to Vader and just start throwing sabers about to kill the others and then Zombie can't revive them. And that is the plan at least anyway. And then Ray, obviously you can see level 9 Datacron. Uh, we're going to be using JML with our own Datacron here. Uh, probably. I don't know yet. I've got a more Mothma Datacron that I need to use up, but I'm just going to see how obviously we get on with the other teams first before we decide what data cons we need to be using where and then the LV team we can be using JMK of course so uh, I'll quickly run over the data cons for you so Bastler and the JML team has a level 6 data cron and this is the reason why I'm taking in Night Sisters uh, Dark and Zobby to be precise obviously the time meter isn't much of a big deal because they're going to start pretty quick off the gate anyway uh, but it's this uh, repost 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 I don't know how to say that uh, that's going to be a cause of the problem against a, a solo SOKR. Obviously, if they, when they get legendary battle meditation from Bastler, obviously increases their counter chance. And if they counter me, that will just absolutely ruin my um, SOKR's health. Obviously, if there's another taunt there, that should help out a bit. Obviously, take the damage away from SOKR so that hopefully he can do the damage to get rid of the others. It won't be pretty banners, but we just need to uh, play it safe so we can clear the board. Uh, so that is the reason why. I'm going to be taking Ducker and Zombie. Obviously, a bit of extra potency and health still is going to be a bit annoying. Physical damage is also going to help them out a bit as well. And then for the Hux team, it is a level 2 data crown from set 1, which is extra health state on tenacity. Um, should be too much of a problem, hopefully, for Malak, maybe. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> and then for the Ducker team, it's got a relic, uh, not relic, a level 3 data crown for stuns and dazes obviously stuns only apply here with darker and Asajj uh, with a bit of extra health and protection so nothing too crazy there and then the very datacron is a level 9 datacron as you can see this is the really good datacron uh, obviously there isn't a um, the level 3 and level 6 bonus isn't the optimal one the level 3 you kind of want offense uh, stacking offense there and then level 6 you want the 15% 10 meter gain to everyone uh, when they have less buffs but that's still a good that's probably the second best choice for resistance and then this level 9 is the best one uh, for Ray obviously 75% more damage for each active ally is pretty good it's not as effective as in 3v3 because you are only getting the 150% bonus rather than the 300% bonus that they would be getting uh, in 5v5 so it's not too bad but that 479% health is just crazy 40% uh, potency 3.3% protection 18% tenacity uh, so this is why I'm tempted to be using my uh, datacron just so I can get the extra potency I need to land those ability blocks on Ray um, at the beginning but that health steal is just ridiculous like these just datacrons are so uh, crazy I'm really tempted to just make a video of what I would suggest um, 
for Datacrons to be fixed. Because I do like, don't go wrong, I do like the idea behind Datacrons, like changing the meta and uh, allowing you to use different teams where certain things aren't usable normally, if that makes any sense. Um, but I just feel like the way they've gone about it is just ridiculously overpowered and the fact that you can use with GLs is just crazy. And uh, yeah, they're just, this, this, uh, I suppose, this variant of data cards just shouldn't be in the game. Um, they just need to be reworked completely so they're just not as nuts as these ones are. And then level six data card we have on LV. I also seen an Inquisitor data card, so that it's at level six won't count, but this is where it gets a bit troublesome with the, them reducing their cooldowns, which is going to help out both faders a lot here. Obviously, throwing out their dots a lot which is why we need to be using JMK here but if we can was the extra health still crit damage and tenacity as well but anyway that is the plan and let's just jump straight into it okay that ability block's a bit annoying but it's fine All right, I got my turn good Still no. Kill off um Team Bob zombie so she gets her torn back. Which is basic here. Get Tasty down. I think these these blocks are gonna be annoying. Right now we get a taunt. Or not. No, this is not going to go well already, I can just tell. Right, let's heal up darker at least. Let's do a siphon. Start siphoning away to get our ultimate charged up. It's not going to charge up if that keeps happening though. Extra potency for the Datacrons coming in handy here. Basic. Just siphon to cleanse up Daka. He's gonna get to ultimate now. Let's heal up Daka. Right, going to ultimate. Just it's just tiny little things like that with the extra potency that the ability blocks don't tend to land much on JML. Obviously, if you, no one has impotency modded. Um, Obviously, this extra potency is just become coming in really annoying to beat this sort of team with these data grunts. So I'm glad I didn't go out okay, solo because we'd be dead by now. That's Bastila dealt with at least. Let's keep healing everyone up. Now we just got to ramp up enough damage that we can uh, hopefully get under JML's bonus protection. Obviously, Bastila provides. Gonna have to keep siphoning him. Hopefully, we got a heal before she. Okay, luckily that wasn't her second death. That's good. And keep siphoning. 330k there. Yeah, we're gonna lose the guys on the side, but that should be okay. Right, we're under. Oh, thank. All right. That's not we're gonna get health back. Let's do a swipe, that should be it for what is that, 53? Not bad, I suppose, for the date cron I had on it. <laughs> okay, so just before we jump in here against LV, I am taking LC Chain K, like I mentioned, and I am taking my level 9 data cron with him. Uh, obviously, that is equipped for him. Uh, I don't have the ignore uh, uh, protection on. High ground, which is unfortunate, but uh, that is a very good uh, level nine bonus as well. Obviously, I think all his level nine is pretty good actually. Uh, his worst one's probably the one where he gets extra health and protection and takes less damage from 
uh, what relics are on the board. But anyway, obviously stacking offense, uh, stuns on specials, and gaining ult extra ultimate charge, 232% uh, health steal, great damage, and protection. That should help us a lot, hopefully, get through this LV pretty quickly. Okay, so we're going to use Hello there on Cat and target Darth Vader to get him stunned. And we're just going to get rid of uh, Royal Guard straight away. And we'll try to do a basic onto Lord Vader so we can crit to cleanse off someone. Cleanse off. Uh, I don't know what's which is good. Right, we'll call in Cat to cleanse her off and then kill Darth Vader if we can. Let's him go on. He's got to get to ultimate and hopefully kill LV as quick as possible. Well, he still has too many of my banners. Is it there? It should be our ultimate, which it is. Get armor shred on him and then go into ultimate. It's crazy that he's a. Uh... I was about to say he wasn't that far away, but he is pretty close now. Another stack of armor shred. Hello there to Cat, so we can get another stack when it's our turn. One to three stacks. And there we go, for Max Banners, very good. And again, we are going to be using another Datacron, this time against the Ray team using JML. Uh, I am only equipping a level three Datacron here, which is extra potency, which I was talking about that we we're probably gonna need, and then uh, extra 10 meter when someone dies, but that's not gonna be too important. It's just that extra potency to hopefully land that ability block at the beginning if we can, uh, which I think is gonna be super important to how this fight goes. But anyway, let's just go straight into it. Obviously, this is the one I'm most nervous about because uh, Ray it could absolutely destroy me. But we obviously see, yeah, we do have C in reserves if we need to. But that'll be quite annoying because obviously our whole plan is dependent on everything going right the first time. Um, so we shall see how we get how we get on, and let's get straight into it. Right, here we go. Please land the ability block. Okay, that's good. Right, I think because normally what you'd normally do with a ray to get with JML is you'd want to get her into damage immunity first. But because her ultimate does more damage when she has allies, I'm actually really tempted to go straight for the sides and hopefully kill them off first before we get Ray into uh, the yellow. So I think anyway, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give Master Training to Gen Knight Luke. I'm going to go for a stun. Now I am going to start. Uh, it's just this day's auto. Oh, hopefully we'll hit in the yellow, and we can just kill her, please. Very good. Let's target Luke. Need to get a Jedi training ray out of here as quick as we can. Before she goes into ultimate, okay, we're not probably not going to get into ultimate. Let's heal up. Okay, all right. This is where it's going to get nasty. All right, I don't want to do any more turn meter stuff. Uh, that's just basic. Do master training onto Jedi Master Luke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I just love Datacrons, they brilliant. Such a great addition to this game. Oh, I mean, I hope that whoever made them got a massive pay rise for this just fantastic idea.
Uh, might as well play this out. At least Holdo's dead. Wow. <laughs> Alright, if this doesn't work, we're definitely not getting to ships because uh, I won't be able to be anything uh, afterwards, obviously, with this stupid data cron. Alright, so I'm going to give the two stacks straight to uh, C. And we are going to do a mass assist on to Ray, I want to say. See, I forgot that. Uh, Thorn is currently dazed, <laughs> so he didn't get caught into assist. Right, let's just do basic on Ray to get rid of that foresight. There goes Thorn. Okay, that heal block is going to be annoying. I should try and shake that heal block off if we can. Do a relink. There you go. Not that that's going to make much difference, obviously, when we get smacked in the face in a minute. Okay, that was lucky. We were fortunate there that the damage was spread out. Right, it's going to ultimate. And then kill JTR, because at least I had. Ultimate's going to do list damage now. Now it's just going to be a case of whether we can actually get through Ray or not. I have a feeling that we're going to get absolutely blown away by this uh, ultimate. Look at that healing. We need to land these shocks, otherwise we're definitely not getting through her. What did I say? Come on. Shock. There we go. Wow, that just tickled her. Shock, please. There we go. You go in. Please cut it before she goes into ult. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> please don't die. Please, please, please. Oh. And killer for 28. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Malak v Hux. I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, just basic there, I guess. And right, now we can drain. Now drain again. That'll be first order Stormtrooper gone. Right, a stun. Oh, okay, or not. Would go after her Hux, but more scared of his basic than the sort of tie bullets. I'll stop him healing, then we can hopefully drain him. Next go. We'll just kill him there, good. Now 1v1 me Hux. If you got nothing by the looks of it. Ah. Oh, I think he's still my banners. Oi! Oh, you bugger. Did he get though? Still pretty good. It's the Omicron variant, so obviously GG wasn't telling me the truth. Okay, so this isn't what I said I was going to be using. Uh, I just realised that Vader is actually on defence. Um, I thought I had him available. I remember that I switched him out at the very last second before uh, obviously the attack phase started, so obviously you can't use him. So I am using both rays, obviously the normal variants of rays, um, with what? This used to be a very old team in 3v3 um, that I came across on defence, which I thought was quite clever actually, and hopefully this will still give me the same effect and the win that we were going to get with Vader. So I'll see how, what I'm going to be doing is giving shield tech to JTR because that will cause her to taunt. And then we're going to be giving obviously weapon tech to uh, uh, Scav Ray. Now I am just going to go for a middle special here onto my sister zombie. 
because that gives her the daze. Now we can wave her hand, get rid of that taunt. It is basic there. Now we will call in Ray to assist on the, to Asajj. Okay, nice dodge. Right, hopefully I go for a big hit. Oh, almost wasn't enough, that's unfortunate. I should reapply that, that daze. Obviously that is from her Zeta. I'll get rid of that taunt again. I'll hopefully kill Asajj. That's her gone, she can't be revived now because obviously weapon tech prevents revives. Now we'll call in the stick ray onto Ducker. If you kill Ducker here, what? Get that taunts back on again. That's fine though. Yeah, you can't revive uh, Sarge. She's dead. I'll right, get rid of that taunt again. Now we can just kill Ducker off, and then we just finish off for. Maybe four banners if we can. Get recover some protection, please. There we go, for four banners. Very nice. Or 57. Okay, so now we're starting in the south. So here we are gonna go straight for Zam. Uh, she will be she will be the squishiest on the team, so we'll just go for a mass assist here. And it just stick with her. Okay, right, let's go for a, I was about to say go for a buff immunity, but you know. Get some advantage on everyone again. Let's turn back to first order TIE pilot. Go for a double tap. Maybe. Yeah, this isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm backing out. Okay, so we're going to hopefully send in more Mothma to deal with Django. Um, see, this throws Saber at Yuku here straight away. Need the counter, so that's fine. Right, go to that extortion. We call in the summon. Right, here we. Kill Dooku off, hopefully. There we go. Now we'll go after Django. Push back some Terminator, hopefully. We do. Brilliant. The ability to block. So he stops us getting a rocket to the face. Right, kill Django. Saber at him as well. I just got to kill Nate and put it on full auto. Okay, Padme versus this uh, Geo team. I'm just thinking about whether to do a heal here because I'm. Let's do basic here actually, to start off with. Yeah, because that's what I was worried about. They were going to swipe all my uh, protection up away. All right, now we can pass the turn to uh, Padme and go for the protection up. Now we'll stun the brute. Go for a stun on Breed Alpha, please. Nope, no stun, unfortunately. Alright, let's do a basic. Because that's also what I was worried about. Obviously, killing off uh, Brute with the Master Sister, then Brute just reviving him straight away. Which would have been a very annoying. Alright, basic Brute. Now we'll go for a kick. Let's hit that Shatter Point. 
for a stun on Brood. Get the heal up. That's annoying, they got a taunt there. That's fine. Give that to Padme. Stun Spy, very good. Stun, nope. Go for a kick. You might get revived, or oh, you didn't even die, anyways. Hit the shadow point. Heal up. I'll get swiped now, actually. Basic brood. I'll get enough uh, protection up stacked up so we can this one shot brood, which is going to be unfortunate. I'll take a while. Oh, go on. Then we can kick. Hit Go for a heal, stun. That. Oh, Ooh, come on! Yes, <laughs> there we go. That's what I was waiting for. All right, hit. Oh, I thought I was targeting Spike because I've seen the stealth. Never mind. For full banners. Okay, so we are going with the Wrecker variant of the Bad Batch three v three team. Obviously, hopefully we can stun him with... Oh, we can't because obviously he hasn't got furious. Never mind, that was my bad. Right, let's pass the turn over to Echo. Hopefully stun him here, which we do. And kill him, please. There we go. Ray we Some healing done. Do the hand twist. Let's kill B1 and he'll take his bonus turn. Might miss out protection banners here. How much we can do about it. Let's do this to Hunter. And that'll be 55. Yep. Oh, we got one protection banner back. Very nice. Please. Let's throw the hat Talon. No, the death mark. Come on, Ember, you got this. Oh my god. Oh, wow.
Blimey, I was not expecting this to work. So this, is, this is only a gear 10 item as well. Um, obviously the other two are relics. Oh, okay. See rubbish banners because I've tried a few other teams that you may or may not see. <laughs> Just because it's not very entertaining to watch. But anyway, that is the ground zone cleared. Uh, so now we will get the ships cleared and then we'll come back to the board after that is done. So as you can see, we have managed to clear the full board in the end. Uh, it wasn't a great fight in terms of some of the counters. Uh, I did enjoy using the JTR with what that was quite a nice little counter there. But obviously, with the Acorns now, if you're going to set like a pretty tough defense, you do have to be more careful and hopefully more consistent with your wins. Obviously, if you do drop battles, you are going to end up having to use scraps to hopefully whittle down the teams you have left over, as you probably would have seen in this video. Uh, I will quickly show you my defenses actually that I have set for this round at least. Uh, so obviously I have a crew team, uh, the thermals team, the Zam Omicron. Everything's obviously got a Datacon except the crew team. And then in the south, obviously you saw at the beginning, but I'll just quickly show you that again. And Club Team Starkiller, Geo Decker, Moldos, Finn Resbros, and then obviously a Ray team. And then in the back, we had set uh, LV with Royal Guard and Darth Vader, and that's with a, a cooldown reduction uh, datacron. Obviously, I don't have the ultimate. I've just unlocked Lord Vader, so I'm farming up his ultimate at the moment on my Jamax account, at least. Uh, obviously, I won't be getting any of the new stuff on Jamax account. That'll be on my solo account that I'll probably get Jabba and hopefully Profanity on there as well. See a BAM team uh, dash with. Uh, uh, Han and Chewie, then a new Django and Omicron Rygunjin team. So obviously I didn't set a pretty easy defense, so I was lacking on the offense side, so I may need to switch that up going forward, obviously to give me more uh, power for offense. Maybe not put as much data on the defense as well. See, this is my fleet defense. Not, nothing too great here. That's pretty easy. And yeah, that is the end of the fight. I hope you have enjoyed this first video back in 3v3. Obviously, this is going to be a very difficult uh, time going forward for Grand Arena. With now with all these datacrons available, uh, it was right with just one set, but now there are two sets active at each time. It is going to become more strenuous on thinking about counters and what we can use where, and obviously not wasting battles and that sort of thing. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video. And if you have, I would really appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall catch you in the next one.